Okay, Libra, hi, uh, welcome. Uh, this is Tarot Illumination with your new Singles Mini Love and Relationship Report for you, Libra, September 2017. I know it's late, but just stretch it into October, okay? No big deal. Cards were already well pre-shuffled in advance. We're just doing it to the last second so that you're a witness. Then we're going to cut and do the spread. Also, you can see we wrote everything out here in the basics, so we don't have to explain everything all the time. You can rewind and watch at your leisure. Please watch for your sun, moon, and rising and make the best of it, okay? Uh, we're all going through a lot of stuff right now coming out of these eclipses, so uh, you're not immune. So remember also with singles, we're, we're not fortune tellers here at Tire Illumination. We're just dealing with energy. We're just dealing with what if on the understanding that we're allowing for the laws of attraction here. In other words, you get what you uh, put out, okay? And it happens over what we call time. Let's have a look. What's going on? All right, Libra, what's going on? Okay, and I did a nice big cut. This would be you and your energy. This would be the other and their energy. This would be the potential relationship. What if, in other words, if they were there, and you might be attracting that. Who knows? Let's have a look. And this would be the prospects, uh, given the context of this thing. Let's say it actually started to manifest. We're going to look at this bottom card in just a second. That's the weather that I feel is uh, prevailing over the whole situation, the conditions, let's say. And it's up to you, of course, Libra, to make the best of it. And rather than being owned by the weather, you're going to make the best of it. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. So Libra, with the six of cups here, you might be dealing with a situation where you're aware that there's something going on. You might not fully understand it. You might be having this sensation that you're in a soulmate dynamic right now. You might be yearning for a soulmate. Or you might be aware of soulmate conditions. I'm not saying that you're yearning for the soulmate or that the soulmate is yearning for you. All I'm suggesting here with the weather is that soulmate uh, energy is present. The question is, what do you do with it? Okay. And it's obviously a lot of love and appreciation here, but the question is what's actually going on? Because this is a singles reading. You might be yearning for a soulmate. You might uh, have been sad to have lost a soulmate. You, uh, you might be trying to figure out how to get things to work for you in such a way that, you know, you can love and be loved in the, in the way that, you know, other people would like is what they would call a soulmate relationship. Let's have a look. You have come to a point of completion. It's almost like you might be in a situation where a really profound soulmate uh, situation has kind of lived its life cycle, so to speak. Every thing in life, you know, it, it birth and it lives and then it dies. It's born and it lives and it dies. We live in these human bodies. We have a shelf life and we have these chapters in life that uh, they have a start and they have a middle and they have an end, just like a movie, just like an episodic TV series. And eventually it comes to an end and it could be a very beautiful, epic ending. It could be that uh, the ending itself could feel a little bit frightening because it's the end of something. However, it's also on the understanding that it is full and complete and beautiful and it might have lived its life, so to speak. It's like the end of a beautiful movie. So if you are this person right now and you are in a situation where you're radiating the energy of completion, the energy of like deep down knowing it's all over and not taking it too personally, understanding that this is a life cycle and it's very very beautiful everything is exactly as it should be because it can't be any other way according to the highest levels of the laws of attraction so in other words there's no point in trying to fight this energy and it's better it's much more healthy and honest to just accept it and live it out and so what does that leave you with i mean it's almost like this part of libra life is over so you're totally wide open for what is next and it's almost like you have liberty to create from scratch. So in that case, what would you attract? Who would they be? What would they be radiating? What would their love energy be? Okay. Well, we don't know yet. It's obvious that, well, it's not obvious, but 
from here at Terra Illumination, it feels that uh, because of this, I'm not seeing this as tumultuous. I think there's this is a very, very pure, pure energy here. It's very beautiful. It's like everything's been done according to the laws of nature, according to the laws of attraction. And it puts you in a completely new space where you're having to start all over again. But in three-dimensional terms, let's get away from the spirituality here. In three-dimensional terms, that puts you in a spot where you'd be figuring out, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do now? You know, if this whole epic uh, way of being is completed and I have to start all over again, what does that happen? So in terms of the laws of reflection, which happen in profound relationships, you might be going into a period, a time period, where uh, if you did encounter anybody, they would be in a position of indecision and uh, radiating your own energy back to you of someone who's maybe adrift and lost at sea but not willing to deal with it or understand it so they're literally trying to avoid dealing with it for the time being rather than dealing with it and that would be totally understandable especially if this was a very big epic important uh, chapter of your life that is completed and starting you know in the near future or the you know, extended future, having to start all from scratch all over again would require making a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of decisions. And Libra, that's something that you a lot of times don't really like to do. You like things to be harmonious and balanced and just as they are, like everything's nice over here with you, everything's nice over here with me, and let's not rock the boat. And that can be a little bit of a problem uh, because we execute life through our decision-making process. And so if there's a little bit of reluctance, it could be that you would attract others who would be reluctant, you know, in moving forward with their own evolutionary path. So you would simply attract your own reflection to yourself in that regard, okay? So don't take it too personally. Don't take it too seriously. This would be a very obvious natural consequence coming out of this energy here, especially if there's a lot of sentiment an attachment to the past and a deep reluctance to, or not a deep reluctance, but a little bit of hesitation about moving forward into the future, into the great unknown, which is what singles face all day, every day. Every day they are single, they're always aware of what's not there for them in terms of the relationship. So let's have a look. What would this, what would be the, let's, let's say this person did manifest in your life. What would the, the nature of this relationship be like? Okay. So it could put you uh, in a position where you'd have a chance to start again, maybe do it properly this time, where, um, like do it in a more mature ma manner, where instead of just living it through like a movie, you're actually much more of our participant, and you're making a lot of very conscious, deliberate, active decisions to the point where it could manifest in the more traditional sense, like what would be called like a marriage or an engagement or something to celebrate. Now, another perspective that I'm feeling for you here, Libra, is that maybe you're glad that this is over. Maybe that even though there's a deep soulmate energy going on here and you might attract um, the energy of another going down the road, uh, an energy of indecision and uh, inability to make decision, that could be very liberating for you. It could be, it's almost like, like, I love this very much. I love you very much. I know you love me very much, but it lets just a bit, it's over. And let's move on and let's celebrate. I know people who've done that. I, Terra Illumination, know people who've done that, where they realize they've led something very beautiful and abundant and uh, flooded with love. And let's just say it was a past life relationship or a soulmate relationship. And they've lived through the all the chapters and it's done it can be almost like it's okay to celebrate it's just like you know what that was amazing so you would be looking at yourself and the other partner and they would be looking at you thinking it's fantastic we had a great ride let's celebrate and i wish you good luck dear libra and i wish you good luck dear other one because there's a whole new world unfolding for you libra down the road okay in a good way instead of being shocked and dismayed by the end of what is, treat it as a liberation and an opening to a whole new 
uh, way of celebrating, especially with friends and family. And where does that, what are the prospects here? That could take you, <laughs> you, uh, this is your reading, okay, Libra, where you can have a bit more um, appreciation for the divine, the mysteries, like even if you don't fully understand what happened to who you are and why you are the way you are now, coming up down the road, if you're single and you encounter this kind of energy, you know, of indecision, of unwillingness to participate, and it allows you a bit of freedom and free space to recalibrate yourself and life, it can also lead you, this is your relationship, it's not a couple's reading, lead you to a place where you can finally get in touch with the deeper mysteries of life and enjoy it and own it for yourself, okay? Uh, it's a complete recalibration of life, quite honestly. That's what I'm looking here in ways that you've probably never encountered before, where you're going to have to allow for a lot of mystery uh, coming forward to you. In other words, you might be going into the great beyond and having no clue uh, what lies behind the veil. That's typically what would be associated with the high priestess energy here. But that's okay. It's very beautiful. It's okay. You don't have to know all the answers all the time to everything in your relationship. Okay. I don't want to say anything more and spoil it. Make the best of it. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising. Thank you so much, Libra. Bye-bye.